Who rediscovered the pyramids and why were they forgotten? There is no doubt that pyramids across the globe are the most elaborate constructions on planet Earth, but why? Why pyramids and how was the knowledge to build pyramids shared across thousands on every continent on the Earth? Why? Just why? Is it possible the thousands of pyramids scattered across the globe were once part of a cohesive network? One that can be understood from the sky or even from inside. And who or what could have coordinated such a precise design? It is just mind-boggling. Wait till you hear this. The Brobador Temple on the island of Java is the world's largest Buddhist monument. Said to have been built at least 1,300 years ago, this religious structure with its wide base and tiered mound is another example of a pyramid. Consisting of six rectangular terraces topped by three concentric circular terraces, this intricate pyramid design has intrigued scholars, especially when viewed from the air. Barobador is definitely not an obvious pyramid, but it is a pyramid, make no mistake. It is a stepped pyramid on top of which structures have been built. The Barobador Temple is known as a shrine, but also a place of pilgrimage where people start at the base and work their way up to the top, which they theorize is like reaching Nirvana. It is one of the most amazing places in the world and the message it conveys is absolutely mind-boggling. What we have there is a temple mound to the stars. From overhead, the temple takes the form of a giant Buddhist mandala, a unique circular diagram representing both the cosmos and a spiritual place for prayer and meditation. The design indicates that this pyramid was once a place where a man connected with the gods. Researchers question why and how the builders would create such an intricate religious symbol that can only be viewed from the air. Does it not just blow your mind or what? But according to researchers, the answer can be found on top of the pyramid, where there are 72 bell-shaped structures known as stupas, each housing a seated statue of Buddha. They are considered to be the world eggs or wombs of transformation. Sikara is very much like the Egyptian word Sikara, which is the place of the step pyramid or the stairway to heaven. And it makes you wonder if the ancient Egyptians and the ancient Indians were telling us the same thing about the stupas, that these are in fact wombs of transformation, ladders, or cosmos stairways into the heavens. The journey didn't happen in their heads. It wasn't something delicate of this world. It wasn't something spiritual. It happened. Extraterrestrial contact took place on this world many times thousands of years ago. Were the stupas really built as a representation of spiritual enlightenment, as mainstream archaeologists believe, or might they have been constructed to serve another, even more profound purpose? Could it be possible that the ancient inhabitants of Indonesia actually witnessed an intergalactic cosmic event? Proof may be found in the ruins of ancient pyramids across the world and maybe even across the universe. Proof that is hidden in plain sight. It could be staring right at us yet. We just have not understood the obviousness or importance of it yet. Something like that anyway. Is it possible that pyramid structures were constructed to try to reach the heavens? What do you guys think about the stairway to heaven? Did the ancient peoples leave enough of the puzzle behind that we can fit it all together somehow? Comments below. Thanks for watching.